Yes, it's another rod from Mifine, but this time this is a brand new model. If I open the careful package square cardboard tool, I will have again the bubble wrap. It's on a two part, the rest of it it's inside of the cardboard tube. They don't play with the packaging on me fine. Sorry for the noise. If we take this out. So this is the new type of sleeve by Mifine. Uh, the rods that I'm getting from them, the newer models, will have the usual canvas on one side and now they have this breathable uh, padded stuff on the back. And this is the Jig Smart. This is the spinning rod, but it's very, very long. It's 250 six centimeters the cast weight is from 4 to 18 grams and this is because i recently started to go after sea bass and other saltwater uh, species and i needed a bit of a longer rod that still could uh, let me um, cast lower weights but i will give you a closer look of this rod on the white table so now on the white table i can tell that they have three sizes, they are down below, they are available in light, medium, heavy and heavy and the cast weights are also below. If you want to pause the video right now, you can and check the tables while I unpack the rod from the sleeve. But the model that I have, it's the bigger, lighter version of this rod. So mine is the 8 foot 5 as I told you on the beginning, 256 centimeters. It's a two section rod, as you can see in here, I have the two sections on my hand, uh, fully closed. So the transport length, as they call, it's 126 centimeters or four foot four inches. And this one has all the bigger versions features eight plus one guides from Seaguide. I actually like the guides from Seaguide. They are stainless with some nice insertions that will not make that much noise, even with crap braid. The shorter versions will have 7 plus 1 guides. This rod weighs 130 grams. The others on this lighter line have less 5 and 10 grams depending on the model. And the others will be slightly heavier with the biggest, heaviest one going at 155 grams. In here, very, very cool graphics. All the rod is black. It has a ABS reel seat with some stainless steel insertions and a nice 30 ton carbon blank. If you can see in here, you will have all the information that you need about your rod, except you guessed it, this is a Mifine rod. You will not have the line weight for the rod. So I will give it a closer look on the EVA with some cork insertion on the bottom of the rod. Nice graphic from me find the cork. It's actually very pleasant as the EVA. It's very, very, I will not call it stiff, but it's uh, actually pretty comfortable to hold. The top, as all Mifine rods, is identified, which is a good thing. It's part control. It is, means that they care on the process of making the rods and Actually, the, the guides are on the smaller diameter size, so all of these ones look almost like micro guides. And if we can check the tip, it's 175 on the reading and they claim 160. So it's inside of the spec as usual. It will be always a bigger high reading than what the manufacturer specs. Overall, I'm satisfied and now you get a free clip of me fishing with this rod. But until next time, I will see you guys on my next video. And please don't forget to subscribe because I'm almost on the 4000 hours, which means I will get a little bit of kickback every time you watch some ads on YouTube. Sorry about that.